Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are going to be talking about the new expansion for Forza Horizon 4 called Fortune Island. Now Fortune Island brings a ton of new things with it but the primary thing that I want to focus on is the new drift road. Now for the longest time we've been asking for switchback roads like this to be paved and we saw some of them in the Forza Horizon 4 uh, original map. We saw some stuff that was close to this, but not quite on this level. Anything that was on this level was previously a dirt uh, rally-based road. So, with that being said, this is possibly the craziest drift road we've ever seen in a Horizon game. And when I say that, I, <laughs> I mean it, because there's really nothing so far that has been able to touch uh, this level of kind of technicality and back and forth uh, repeating switchbacks in a Horizon game like this. So moving forward, though, there are some other things that I want to touch on that they talked about. They talked about, um, like, they. I think the wording they used was, like, perilous clifftop roads. And basically what that means is mountain roads running along, like, the, the edge of a cliff where if you screw up, it's need for speed carbon, basically. <laughs> but no, like, if you screw up, like, you literally go straight off the freaking edge. So, there's a lot of, there's a lot of interesting gameplay dynamics here, and I think that by, um, by diving into stuff like this, they've really opened themselves up to some new elements of gameplay, but again, I keep going back to that drift road, because that drift road is going to be an absolute blast. I'm already thinking about which cars I want to take down that, that drift road. I mean, Possibly my RX-7 Spirit R drift car, possibly my Cadillac CTS-V drift car, possibly my 350Z drift car, um, all the Formula D cars, and that's like all of this talk about the drift road, and we haven't even touched on the fact that Fortune Island has this new insane weather system with dynamic lightning storms and all sorts of crazy stuff that we haven't seen yet. Like the lightning just looks insane. And that's something that we are also seeing for the very first time in a Forza game. So that's going to be very, very cool as well as dynamic weather effects. Uh, well, not necessarily weather effects, but um, kind of time-based weather effects, like for example, the Aurora Borealis, um, that you can actually see up in the sky over the island. And that's really, really cool. They say it's the most quote unquote, the most dangerous, the most dangerous location that the Horizon Festival has ever been to. And when I say that it's the most dangerous location the Horizon Festival has ever been to, I like, I'm not exactly sure if they're just saying that because of the lightning or if there's something else hidden in there, which I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's something else hidden in there that they haven't told us about yet, but I'm sure there's something hidden in there for us. And I, for one, cannot wait to check it out. Now, since it's an island, I'm assuming that it's going to be a fast travel only type thing. So you'll go to an, you'll go to a location and then from that location, you'll have, say, for example, a ferry to take or a, um, a plane to catch or something like that. Uh, depending on how they handle it this time, I mean, they've handled it different ways in the past. Um, like, for example, in Horizon 2, there was one where you would catch a boat. Um, in Horizon 3, you would go to the airport um, to fly, you know, to fly up to, um, oh gosh, up to the, like, the, the, the island that was in that game. Wow, I am completely blanking on the Horizon 3 expansion that wasn't Hot Wheels. I'm completely and totally blanking on it, and I feel really, really bad about it. Wow, that's really bad. But, but, wow, without any, like, without spending too much time on that, and going back to Fortune Island, they also talked about hunting for treasure. Now, when they say hunting for treasure, I think one of the big things that they that they that they probably mean is that they've they've probably just hidden all sorts of like little things throughout the island, and they're, that they're referring to as treasure. But um, the, even like the font that they used in like their you know their title announcement thing uh, had this kind of like you know um, like almost pirate themed look to it. And I think that they, yeah, that's probably the idea they're going for. And there may be like, you know, some pirate themed challenges and stuff like that, but I don't think there's going to be any, anything groundbreakingly new except for, um, the paved drift road, for example, and the, um, uh, the weather stuff, because that, that seems to be the main things that they've, that they've been highlighting here. And 
I, depending on how you feel about either of those, I mean, I think that the expansion is going to be worth it just for that drift road. Like, that's, honestly, that's what I see a lot of people buying this expansion for. We're not sure how much it will be yet. Uh, at least, I'm not sure how much it will be yet. I'm, I'm assuming it will be in the range of what Horizon expansions have been in the past, and we can probably base it off of that. Um, I would be surprised if it's, if it's any more than what Horizon expansions have been in the past. Um, but, but this also makes me think and makes me wonder there's probably a new house to buy out there. Because if there's a new house to buy out there, then you can just, you know, you can live there, you can have your, um, you know, all your cars out there, you can do all your tuning out there. And that's honestly another big thing, because if you can have a house out there, then boom, you can live on the island. The only thing, the only thing that I can think of uh, that would make that a little bit weird is if they make the house, like, you know, tremendously pricey. Like, if they make it, you know, like another Edinburgh castle, and you have to have, like, you know, whatever, 10, 15 million credits to buy it, then I feel like a lot of people might be a little bit disappointed about that because that kind of would be one of those things where if you, you know, if you make it to that level, then there's going to be a lot of people that, are, that, that might not play the game constantly that are like, really? You're just kind of locking this off from, you know, the, the, like the players, the players that don't play this game, you know, all the time. And, you know, yeah, I mean, there's going to be people watching this video that are like, what do you mean? That's like no big deal. I have like 30 million credits. You know what I mean? But at the same time, there's also people that log on to the game like once or twice a week that don't really have time to build up a stash like that. You know what I mean? So I think that they, if, if, if the house on the island is like, you know, maybe two, three million credits, that would be, that would, that would be doable. Like that would be, you know, that would be fine. Um, and again, I'm not sure if there is or isn't a house on the island yet. I don't think anybody is. But but if it's around that range, then I could see it being, you know, no, just fine. No big deal. Um, if it's like 10, 11, 12 million credits, I feel like eh, that might be pushing it. But at the same time, it would give people something to work for um, so they can actually have a proper house out there on that island. But the biggest things, the biggest things, you know, wrapping this up, the biggest things are the the island itself which the location looks really really cool uh, it looks like it's got something for everybody it looks like it's got something for the rally guys it looks like it's got something for the drift guys it looks like it's got something for pretty much everybody in between even the off-road guys and the only other thing the only other thing that i am just a little bit on the fence about is how it's going to work with the idea of uh of the weather because if you have that drift road that drift road isn't going to do you any good if it's always storming and raining and lightning and thunder and like all that kind of stuff. So it's not really going to do you any good if you're always having to deal with weather. So I'm hoping that the weather is there, but not overbearing. Because if it's overbearing, then it's going to get in the way. And I can already tell you it's going to get in the way if it, if it, if it ends up being like that. Because if, if it ends up being like that, well, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be really upset because they're going to be like, dude, I just wanted to come and drift, you know, that I just wanted to come and drift and hang out with my buddies when it wasn't, you know, raining and storming out. So I hope that they really, I hope that they really think long and hard about how they balance that. But if you guys are excited for this expansion, please let me know in the comments below what part about it you're excited for. I think most people are going to say the drift road. For me, it's the drift road, um, among other things. But if you all also enjoyed this video, make sure you leave me a like and tell me in the comment section below what you thought of it and if you have any suggestions for me. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you all later.